So, I'd like to preface this entire video with, I don't do squads. I don't do, oh, Team Bevel, Team Handis, Team Wall. I don't, I'm Team Kevin. Team Kevin's process, you feel what I'm saying? You got some people who are Team Andis, got people who are Team Bevel, Team Wall, Team Babelis, Team Conair. I don't know who those people are, but hopefully you don't show your face around me. You know what I'm saying? But like I'm saying, there are mad people who are on squads, right? When it comes to these joints. I'm on Team Kevin. Anything that works best for my system, that's exactly what I'm gonna get. I don't care what name is on it. Or I don't care what it says on it. That's bottom line. I don't care what it says, right? So when it came to the bevel trimmer, right? I thought it was number one. You know, given its features. Features, features wise, <laughs> nothing's beating this, bro. I'm telling you, even to this day, to this day, nothing's beating these features. But the problem is functionality. The quality of those features is the issue. Now, let me tell you everything I love about this trimmer before I go on to the end. First of all, boom. You see that? First of all, it don't even click no more. Something going on. Something going wrong. But the, the top pops off and then you can use this to zero gap. Crazy, you just scroll. To this day, that is cool. And it's right back on, you can pop off. Not only are the blades replaceable, there's so much, there's so much application there. One, you can get different um, closeness. Um, each customer can have their own blade. You can leave one at home and have it. Like, there's just so much application when it comes to that. And you know, there are definitely other clippers that have to pop off, but I don't know any other trimmers that do it this well. There's another Andis one that does it, um, the Andis Superliner, but it doesn't have the scroll on it. So functionality, we've never seen this before. And boom, replaceable batteries. got messed up so if these batteries ever get messed up which I mean they haven't yet you just get a new one and replace it boom no issue you still got the still got the mechanism still got the, the the machine the other dope thing look at me dropping the blade go ahead of the video already other dope thing is the hook you can just boom take off the hook and put it on any that put it on any hook you know what I'm saying it's, it's made to, to hang for barbers and that's so dope functionally. Turn it on, runtime is pretty long, it's pretty powerful, and it's pretty good. It does everything I love about it. Do the things I mentioned, it's also what I hate about it. When we put it up to the to the Andis trimmer, it doesn't have no pop-off. You gotta screw it. The battery is native, it's within the it's within the mechanism. So you gotta unscrew it and you can't really change the battery. It's not replaceable. Um, this is definitely heavier, it's a heavier uh, machine slippier bottom i think this is plastic so it has more grip to it this is a little slippier but i never had an issue with that um different battery um different switches this one you push up this one you same thing the same way it's always been i love how big this blade is it allows you to travel through the, the haircut a lot faster this joint got a good two three millimeters on it, right? and how do you do it with the eyebrows. When it comes to the eyebrows, you just kind of tilt it. It's not that big an issue. But here are my issues with the bevel. Even though I like the hook, I feel like it should have been able to stand as well because this, though this, um, this pop-off feature is dope for you know all the applications I previously mentioned, it gets weak. Like I just, boom, and now it's gone. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know what it is with this rubber mechanism or something is like not, it's like kind of stretched. So now it kind of pushes the blade out and it's not really, it's not as secure as it once was. And I don't know, I don't know what the issue is. And that was been a big problem for me. I've gotten like three of these blades 
turning it on right now. I don't know if it's still because of the rubber as well. One side is like coming above the blade. It's, it's, it's wobbly. So I can't even really use this right now. I'll cut somebody up crazy. It's super hot. Even though I consider the hang feature very cool, it kind of gets messed up when you put it on the feet, on the, um, on the hook and it's at risk for coming off. So now I don't even really hang it. I just put it on my, put it on my station. And then now it's like, takes up more space than I wanted it to. Here, this has a stand. You know, and this did well with the stand. And I, at first I thought it was a bad move because to me, I feel like the least space on here as possible, and I would like a hook or something just to keep the necessities on the table, you know what I'm saying? But it, I think the, the bevel really needed to stand. Price-wise, and see, this is what I'm saying, like, when something is $200, as in the bevel, it's 200 and it's 37 more dollars for the blade, right? It shouldn't be close between a bevel and an Andes T outliner, which is now like 120, 130. There should be no competition with a hundred dollar difference, but there is, and right now Andis is winning. So price wise, I think Bevel is really right now. I I I, I can't justify the price at the moment. Weight, Bevel still got that. Bevel is high a higher weight, Andis is lower weight. Sharpness, to me, I still think the Bevel is a more powerful clipper. It's way more powerful. Um, you know when it's working at its best but it doesn't work at its best for the longest amount of time. After some time, this thing just started going out on me. But yeah, it also has, the, the bevel also has a longer run time. So it's like, like it does have some qualities to it. And, and I think the, the bevel is like going in a really great direction when it comes to innovation and technicality. But when it comes to quality within those features, it just needs a little bit more work. But, and this has been here for a hundred years, like a hundred plus years, I believe. Bevel's only hasn't even hit 10 yet so I, I can't wait to see what it does later on but right now when it comes to innovation this young company is definitely killing the game for this to be its first clipper but that price point it's just a little crazy the innovation the sleek look the design the, the packaging all of it was pretty dope but andis when it comes to like satisfying functionality satisfying the barber i gotta say andis is like taking it and it hurts it hurts to say this because i was a bevel fan like now of course i don't do teams like i said but i was i thought this trimmer was the best to me, but after some time, just didn't hold out. I like, haven't had the end as long as the bubble, granted, but it doesn't have as much moving parts. And that's the thing when it comes to um, to engineering. Anything that has multiple moving parts, it's a lot more vulnerable. It's a lot, there's, there's more liability there. Um, and it doesn't have as much moving parts, so it may last longer. We have to see. But when it comes to like this, this clipper, for instance, the pop-off isn't as bad. It's pretty sturdy. And I think whatever Babylus did here, Bevel needs to do there. It's clearly different because I've had that clipper for longer and it hasn't had as much problems. So that's today's video. Hopefully you liked it. I wanna know your thoughts. Let me know if you've used both the Andis trimmer and the Bevel trimmer. If not, just let me know your thoughts anyway. Uh, I'd love to hear it in the comment section below. See you guys in the next video.